Hello everyone. In the previous video, we added our theme into into our website theme into our Laravel application. So now the time is to integrate our admin dashboard into our project. So let me close these out here and let me open the theme. So what's the name of this? This would be a purple and basically this theme. Let me open this out okay this theme right so how i can integrate this so let's go here let's open this index file let me open this here like this and then i'm going to copy this uh, from uh, copy this header and then i'm going to copy it so further stuff uh, no i don't need this one i need just uh, uh, where the sidebar is ending let me confirm the sidebar sidebar is this one face one dot image dashboard elements okay so it's ending here so now let's copy all of the stuff above stuff copy this one control plus c or you can simply copy it let's close this one close this index close this one right so here now let's go to this layouts directory so for administrator we are also going to create an admin master layout as we did this for the website so here i'm going to name this uh, admin.blade.php or you can say that auth.blade.php because whenever, whenever we are going to install the laravel ui packages by default create the authentication as auth okay that's why i name this auth you can name whatever you like okay so our nav bar is added and now i want to add the footer stuff here so let's go here so where is the footer stuff yes it's there so let's copy the footer stuff i copied this out and let's paste this out here okay i pasted this out and now let's open this same layout uh, let's uh, let me uh, create a new here i'm going to create an auth directory and in the auth i'm going to open a dashboard dot play dot php okay in the dashboard i'm going to basically extend this uh, layout which i created right now so it's inside the layouts dot uh, auth right so basically i'm extending this same thing so this will open the same layout this auth layout uh, into this dashboard so now i'm going to open the dashboard uh, for now i'm going to open this out uh, here in the slash route because i will add uh, proper routes for them and then i'm going to open this like this okay layouts not layout dot to dashboard save this one and let's go here and type localhost 8000 and check that uh, our styling and our javascript files are not going to work because it says that layouts dot dashboard not defined hmm. okay it's inside the auth because we have uh, in the views we have uh, no in the views we have auth directory uh, in the auth we have a dashboard we don't we are not referencing this layout so sorry for our typo uh, it's not typo i added the wrong file name okay it's added here so now i need to fix the styles and the images and javascript issue so let me go there and uh, let's go to this uh, for now we need to go to this auth and here i need to update everything everything here so basically i'm going to create the asset sure okay set them oops i type this three one okay asset and then here you need to copy your first asset so i need to copy this theme asset so let's go here and in the theme we have a asset directory and this asset contain js scs and everything here 
so let's copy them and go to our project and this one is our public directory so basically this one is project so let's go to the public and in the public we have a asset directory where we created our website asset and here i'm going to uh, create the auth directory to store my all of the auth uh, assets right so i already told you that i'm separating them here because whenever in the future i want to change the admin dashboard so i can easily change the admin dashboard by removing the existing asset and pasting the new one and then i can call these assets into my theme so here i'm pasting this out and uh, i'm going to reference here so what i'm going to reference i'm going to oops let me make it for everyone so here i'm going to make this uh, assets and in the asset i'm going to reference this auth and in the auth i'm going to i think i removed the asset directory let me uh, confirm this asset directory from here so this would be uh, no there is no asset directory so in the auth i'm going to go to this vendor so there will be a vendor yes vendor directory so let me cut this out oh i need to cut these brackets as well okay vendor directory let's remove these uh, two ones because we are in this four okay just copy them here css remove these two ones okay i'm also adding this image here so you have this one now css is done so i'm going to fix the javascript here so this javascript also contain this uh, okay this will be um, that's it and here i'm going to reference this uh, assets slash auth slash here i need to grab everything cut these files okay okay cut them out here let's cut this canva.js so basically canva.js is used to take the screenshot to paste this out dashboard i'm going to add this dashboard and stuff like that save this one okay and uh, our this is also going to almost to uh, complete it and let's save this one and uh, view it in the web browser so why my pc is get slowed down so let me uh, let's complete this process and then we will proceed further and by the way if you are uh, if you are confused on the some point so you can comment to uh, uh, below so i will uh, try to answer within the 24 hour and we will fix your issue so don't hesitate to reach out in the comment box okay so here let me go there and is it saved yes it's saved so let's get refresh and check that our styling is working or not okay yes our styling is working and uh, let's take eye on this wait for a moment okay okay so this okay it's still reloading but it's displaying sidebar a top bar and a footer so now i need to add the inside this content right so let's copy this stuff and let me go to find the nav bar i need to here so this one is the main coin is our dashboard so let's remove this one and uh, in the dashboard here i'm going to create a section and i'm going to render everything into the parent one section you need to just create a section only one time and then this will be rendered every time when you are creating for a 
creating a parent uh, creating a child so this uh, then you don't need to define this into the parent one because it's already defined so for now we need to define this save this one and here I'm going to call this uh, between this uh, nav bar and a footer so here I'm going to call this uh, why I'm calling this in the between because it comes uh, between first uh, it would be a header sidebar and then content and then a footer right so that's why I'm adding it here so it would be a content save this one okay and uh, my text is got uh, get slowed down I don't know what happened so no problem I will restart my PC I don't know what happened why it slowed down and I will fix this issue okay now let's get refresh okay okay guys it's still not reloading so let me fix the issue it would be a uh, content and uh, go to the top oh we did a mistake here we paused this section so we need to pause the content so let's save this one let's go here and give it a refresh so it's going to work and yes our dashboard functionality is there right and we need to now fix our images issue so let me fix the images issue so find the image let me find all the images two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen. it would be a twelve so is it and in the is it i need to go to this auth and in the auth i'm going to copy this images slash like this all the images issue so this would be also done here so image like this okay make sure you properly copied all the images auth so then all of the images are going to work so there would be around 12 images i'm going to copy all these images save this one and let's get refresh our images will work okay and uh, these images are work but our these two images are not working because these exist in this auth blade right so here we need to also search for image and we need to set these image here oh not these files so let, so here i'm going to change this to image yes it's slash images not other files okay just type like this set slash uh, this will be an images and then type slash and then add the images like this images where are the other images okay just copy it down this image
save this one and let's get refresh hope it's going to work and yes our images are working properly and yes all of the images are working fine right our these options are working our menu elements are working and everything is working fine so we successfully uh, set up our theme and uh, uh, our dashboard is ready and in the next video we are going to implement uh, we are going to basically install the admin panel uh, basically we added this theme but we need this backend functionality that we want to get the login uh, login register and uh, some other like uh, uh, dashboard so we are going to uh, set up all of our assets and files so i don't know what's the video size because i cut uh, already uh, when i'm recording the video i cut uh, the point from there that's why i'm not sure that what's the video size so i will do this in the next video so uh, stay connected and i will meet you in the next one bye bye